350 people attended a special church service in St Anne's today. It was led by the Bishop of Burnley and held to remember those who died in the worst lifeboat disaster in history. Mark Tattersall reports. It's 120 years ago today that three RNLI lifeboats from St Anne's, Lytham and Southport set out to rescue the Mexico, a German ship travelling from Liverpool to Ecuador. The mission was a success and the crew were rescued, but at a high price. The whole of the lifeboat crew from St Anne's, all the men, died. Uh, we don't know how it happened, but they did die and never returned. Left a big scar on the community. Nationally, it was the biggest disaster. By the time you had the Southport uh, crew that died, 27 men died. The tragedy caused a huge outpouring of grief across Victorian England and was viewed as a national disaster. It's hoped that today's service will not only pay respect to those volunteers that gave their lives over 100 years ago, but also help raise money for the four commemorative statues that are in need of restoration. £15,000 is needed to return the statues to their former glory. It might have taken a rebound shot for Stephen Gerrard to open the scoring, but it was the first of four for Liverpool and there was no way back for Fulham. From the captain's corner, the ball ended up at the far post for Jamie Carragher to slide in the second. The third arrived soon after, an unmarked Louis Garcia with an excellent long-range header. With seconds left on the clock, a superb free kick from Mark Gonzalez completed the route for the Red. Hundreds of people have attended a memorial service in St Anne's today to honour the 27 men who died in Britain's worst lifeboat disaster. The volunteers perished in the tragedy exactly 120 years ago today, as Liam O'Donoghue reports. Children at St Anne's Parish Church today laid wreaths for those who gave their lives trying to save others that stormy night, December the 10th, 1886. Amid snow, sleet and eight-foot waves, three rowing boats were launched to help a German ship which had run aground. The courage that must have taken in open boats rowing in a horrific storm that they knew were already wrecking another boat, the Mexico, was to, I mean, it's, it's something to honour. The Lytham lifeboat survived and rescued 12 sailors from the German ship but the entire crew of the St Anne's boat was lost and there were only two survivors from the Southport vessel. The Southport boat was actually dragged along the beach to Birkdale and launched up to windward of the wreck and um, they actually got alongside the Mexico and were in the throes of dropping an anchor when they were capsized. Ironically, if the times are correct, the Mexico's crew had already been rescued by the Lytham boat. Out there in a force-eight gale, the lifeboatmen made the ultimate sacrifice and a wave of grief swept across Victorian England. 27 had died, leaving 50 children without their fathers. To help the families, the first Lifeboat Saturday was held in Manchester. It was the first time an official charity had taken to the streets to collect money. The appeal was so successful it led to the modern fundraising methods which now bring in millions of pounds every year for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution.